I wanted to ask you guys, what are you doing as, as a board to kind of address the schools that have populations that are changing? Because I know here at, at Brook Hollow, we have seen the population has changed. You know, you have kids who are in single family, you know, single parent families. You have more kids who are in, you know, both parents working. And, and just in the seven years, I mean, the, you know, four years that my child's been here. So what is the board doing to kind of address that to be more sensitive to those kind of changing populations? Uh, another good question. Are you sure y'all didn't think this before we walked in the door? <laughs> yeah, we didn't know y'all was going to be here. Okay. <laughs> there was a school board questions for dummy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, I totally agree with you. When I actually started teaching in Porterville, we had a, about a 20% free and reduced lunch population, and we now have a 52% free and reduced lunch population. So uh, I've definitely you know, seen those changes as a board member. Uh, just something that we just approved to do uh, at the last board meeting is um, we know that we have kids with greater needs in our schools than we've ever had before. And so one of the things that we uh, agree to invest in is every single elementary school at the second grade level is going to get an additional intervention teacher in order for us to work very closely. As Mario was saying, our biggest return on investment is working with those little ones so that they're prepared to transition from, you know, learning to read to the point where they're reading to learn. And so that's where we get our biggest bang for our buck. And so we've said some of that additional money that we see potentially being freed up from the legislature, we want to invest that at that level because we know we have high need kids there as well. Um, I think another thing that we're doing is um, we're uh, increasing our dual language and um, bilingual programs across the district. And one program that I'm extremely proud of is the dual language program where we have students um, that are both native English speakers and native Spanish speakers initially going into a class starting in kindergarten and they grow together learning both languages. I think, in my opinion, this values the, the bilingualism and not just says it's important to learn English and, and do away with learning Spanish. It says for every child in our in our district, we'd like to see them all uh, become bilingual. Um, so that's another one that we're doing to kind of address. We've added a Vietnamese bilingual program. I don't know if you guys know that, but we have a very large Vietnamese population. And after we did it for one year, the population doubled the next year because it was so popular. Um, so we're trying to really, you know, look at the needs of the kids and make Really, our job is to make investments. You know, we don't decide the, the minutia. We say, here's what the vision is. It's serving every single kid, no matter what their background is. And then, how are we going to make sure that the budget matches our goals? And that's what that's what the board does. Thank you.